And we begin 10 TV News at 5 tonight with one verdict and one sentence. Minutes after one man found out he'd be spending more than a decade in prison, another found out he's going free. Thanks for joining us at 5, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. Let's start with the case of Shante Hardin. He'll serve more than 10 years for running a phony funeral home business. Shante Hardin claimed he was helping low-income families find low-cost funeral services. Instead, his victims learned their loved ones were not cremated or promised or buried, cremated as promised or buried as they wished. 10 TV's Kevin Landers broke the story last year. He joins us now with emotional reaction from the families who were impacted by this. Kevin? Well, Shante Harden was convicted of multiple counts of abuse of a corpse, passing bad checks, and running an unlicensed funeral business. For his victims, today was a chance to tell Harden how they ruined their lives. My son was to be treated with respect and honor. And dignity. Heartbreak and tears flowed inside a Lucas County courtroom as Shante Harden was sentenced for his crimes. Charlotte Witherspoon wanted her son cremated, only to find out he wasn't. I have so much hate for you, Shante. I have so much hate. Hate, I wish misery upon you, your family, and your soul. Harden's trouble started last October when two bodies were discovered inside this former hair and nail salon on Livingston Avenue. Among the bodies found inside, Carol King's sister, Rhonda Cooper. Harden had promised to cremate her. A month after her funeral, her body remained in a box, decomposing. Do you know what moving forward for me is like now? I am a mental health specialist, and I can't get my own mental health in, in, in check. I can't help my clients without seeing my sister's face. Harden had maintained his innocence from the beginning, um, telling 10TV after his conviction that he had no regrets and did his best under the laws as he knew them. Before the judge sentenced him, he showed little remorse. I was always doing my best to help where they asked me to. So I don't want the world to see and think that I don't. The judge called Harden a charlatan who preyed on people at their lowest moments of their lives to make a buck. Mr. Harden, the court finds your actions to be that of a con man not the actions of a well-meaning, absent-minded family. <coughs> it appears you found yourself a hustle and used whatever illegal and immoral means necessary to make a living off the debt. Harden was convicted on 31 counts and has indicated he may appeal his conviction. Where Harden will serve his prison time is unknown. In addition to his sentence, the judge also ordered him to pay more than $26,000 in restitution. Kevin Landers, 10TV News.